Hey, what is up? Welcome to the Crimson Engine. Today we are looking at the uh, Ronin S and how to possibly add accessories to it to make it less cumbersome to hold for long periods of time. I have the Photo World um, Ronin crossbar here. What it does is lets you uh, brace um, your hands against your body with, and take the weight with both hands um, in a way that's much less onerous much that makes the, the gimbal much less difficult to carry. Uh, if you have a small DSLR or even a large DSLR on this Ronin S, it's not really an issue. When it becomes an issue is when you mount something large like the C200 um, cinema camera on here, and then suddenly you're carrying five or six kilograms um, on, in one hand or like right to the center of your chest. Uh, it's fine for short shots, but it becomes really difficult and it becomes a really hard workout uh, when you have to do longer takes, longer shots, repeat them again and again. I posted my last review on the uh, Facebook, um, Ronin S Facebook group. The people who make this contacted me and sent me one for free, so thank you for that. Uh, but it, it is a huge improvement um, using the C200 with this. It is, uh, it makes it much less than, um, I would say, it makes it feel like less than half the weight because you're able to have your hands in a much more neutral position. You're able to let the weight sort of sit on your, um, uh, sit against your body. And rather than um, the undulations of walking with one hand, you have them with both. So they sort of, you're able to use your elbows as more of um, shock absorbers. So it makes the footage better, uh, as you can see here. Um, not that I'm any type of gimbal expert. You shouldn't take this as the smoothest footage can possibly be. Um, I've really had, you know, less than an hour in my whole career operating a gimbal, so I'm not the person to turn to for um, gimbal tips, but uh, I definitely have used this on a bunch of shots. It's got me out of um, some tight spots, and it just really uh, elevates what you're shooting um, without having to go full steady cam or bring in someone who has a Ronin 2 or a Movi 10 um, that has the capacity to carry this. This does work inverted, uh, but strangely enough, it's the way that I had it just turned upside down um, felt even more difficult than the single-handed inversion. I think what I would need to do is um, invert the handles as well so that uh, it's still resting on your um, uh, on the side of your hand rather than you gripping it upside down. I mounted the um, mounted the uh, monitor arm on one of the crossbars. That worked great. Didn't seem uneven to me, even though you're adding more weight to one side. The big drawback of this is that you can't really use the um, thumb buttons or the sports mode um, or even the record on the camera without putting the gimbal down. So it takes away some of the advantages of the single-handed gimbal. Um, but it's still, uh, if you're working with someone else, you can always just put it down on the ground. It's still, I left, I left the uh, running this little chicken foot on the bottom. So I'm able to just put the camera down, put it in the setting that I want, pick it up again and um, get the shot and then put it down to stop recording. You won't be able to get through as narrow a spaces. Uh, you see in some of this stuff, I had to slow down to get through a gate because your arms are out by your sides now. It's no longer, you know, you, cannot, you can't kind of turn sideways with it. Um, but you know, more or less a huge improvement to, um, to the Ronin S gimbal system with a big heavy cinema camera, um, for, uh, the majority of shots that you're going to want, which is following an actor, tracking beside an actor, um, stuff like that. So, uh, DJI will probably come out with their own version of this. This is only 99 bucks. Um, if you're using your Ronin S a lot and finding out that you're <laughs> needing to go to the masseuse more often than you usually do, uh, $99 could be a good investment. So that's the PhotoWelt dual handle grip for the DJI Ronin S. Um, leave the link, I'll leave the links in the description, uh, left questions in the comments, and I will see you next time.